Hey guys, how's it going? So, but I actually got to redo the video. I have one of those, I have like a sneeze attack right now. I sneeze like seven times in a row. And uh, I didn't want to put that in the video. So, yeah. Got a little unboxing to do, but first, just a real quick update. Um, all the blades are going to go to heat treat soon. I just got a few more to cut out. And uh, I, might not even, I might not even do the, uh, the grind, the pre grind on them so I can get the rest of them off to heat treat. Um, soon already, um, but yeah, I just need to get them off the heat treat, um, all the orders, um, pretty much have handled already, so, that's gonna save, like, a week or two, like, two weeks, um, that would usually take after heat treat, so yeah, guys, uh, anyways, let's get on to the unboxing, it's a little package from Chuck, and I could not wait to open it, so I did it off camera when I got home. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you this. So, guess what it is. Nope. It's a knife. This thing is awesome. This is only one of the objects. But guys, look at that. Look at the sheath. Look at that sheath. And it's just amazing. It's an awesome, awesome sheath. Let's go ahead and pop it out. It's got a good click. I'm sorry about that. I was pushing it out. You see, it's got a little click. That's my fault. I kept pushing it the wrong way. And it pops right off. Check this, guys. Check it out, guys. I believe this is either Green Micarta or Green G10. I think he bee blasted it. But guys, this is amazing. Check that out. Full flight grind. This thing is awesome. And this is not even his new. It's an older knife that he made. Um, his new ones are a little bit different and they have a little bit bigger blade to handle ratio which I like but this one's awesome get a full four finger grip on there comfortably and if I want more reach just get a three finger grip that is very comfortable too see that this is a N690 steel I'll give you a little cut test don't worry on this is a, just a copy I don't really need this drawing music I can cut the paper but check that out it's like the blade it's like this paper is not even a solid object so sharp it's just like it's like cutting what should I compare it to I don't even know if it's like sorry about that that's my fault I'm going like like you know sideways That is insanely sharp. I don't think I've had a knife that sharp before. And as you can see, the blade has a bleep, uh, bleed, bead blast finish. And I think it's glass media, he said. This thing is so comfortable, dude. And uh, the handle's nicely con or it's uh, rounded off. So it's nice and comfortable in your hand. And a very, very nice sheet. No wiggle. Next up is a little gift from him. I didn't, this is just amazing, dude. Check it out, guys. This is a knife that I, um, he says that I inspired him to do. It's based off 
one of my first um, designs, and he did a little bit of his own interpretation on it. And this thing is so freaking comfortable. Um, the handles are, I think, walnut, but they are, they seem to be bleed, uh, bead blasted as well. And they are very, very comfortable. And just kind of falls into place. It's very, thumb ramp is perfect. And I'm not sure he said this one's going to be sharp or not. He said the other one would be. But it feels really sharp and it's got his maker's mark right there. CR. Yep, it's sharp. Just going to. not as sharp as the other one but it's definitely sharp just kind of add a small piece of paper here all right it's pretty sharp guys um just needs a little strobing this one also be blessed finish on the blade. This thing is awesome. It's a little recurve. This thing is so freaking awesome, dude. And the sheath, it, uh, it is a friction sheath. But, I mean, you kind of have to make a friction sheath. There's nothing to grab onto here, really. But it does have a little click. And there's really no wiggle in here. Very nice. And on top of that, he sent me two little... Um, blanks, um, this is, uh, like one of his newer models, it's, uh, the newer EDC size knife, and as you can see, it's a four finger grip, or three finger, depends on how you want to hold it, but as you can see, the handle to blade ratio, it's actually a little bit bigger than this one, just a little bit, but as you can see, the blade is much larger and the handle is a little bit smaller and I, I tend to like that more more blade than handle it is very very comfortable as you can see you can hold it like that or you can choke up on it and put two fingers on this giant chill and yeah and the second one's probably my favorite one of the two it's a little um, Warren Cliff type blade Maybe a sheet foot. Um, this thing is awesome. It's a three finger grip or two, depends on how you want to hold it. As you can see, there, very comfortable. And it's got this very, very useful jimping on the top that gives it a really nice look. And this thing's just going to be awesome once it's done. Um, it's going to be a perfect utility blade, perfect neck knife. This thing is just awesome, guys. Check that out. Dude, thank you so much, Chuck. This stuff is amazing. And, dude, can't wait to finish up these little two blades. But these two, dude, I'm probably going to be carrying this one um, for some stuff in this one, too. But, I mean, this, this is just amazing, amazing, and really, really sharp. I bet it'll even cut this little piece of paper here. Oh, yeah. See that's actually cutting it. Amazing dude. And just to make this this video game pretty long already. So I'm gonna go ahead and see you later guys, but this is awesome Chuck. And uh guys leave your comments below. These knives are freaking amazing. And go check them out. He's on Super C Richards on YouTube and uh, Gear Bash and go check him out at CMR Custom Knives and check out I think he has some stuff for sale dude for, uh, and this stuff is just awesome very very nice work so please check him out guys and uh no said check you guys oh my goodness just, I'm hot right now it's hot in here <laughs> I'm not even thinking straight um yeah guys I'll see you later um take care and uh take care See, said that twice. I guess later.